That's when other emissions-minded manufacturers want to back up their product claims. The OEM have been using it, the EPA has been using it for their own tests on the road, and I think it behooves of the manufacturers of specialty parts to be looking into this technology as ways of evaluating their products for emissions and fuel economy, because as you say, they do go hand in hand. We'll get data from the competitor plugs first. Since this test is all about real-world driving conditions, we'll run the engine at 2,000 RPM for two minutes, then 2,500 for another two minutes, and finally 3,000 for two minutes. Not as exciting as power pools, but again, our mission is all about emissions. Now we install the E3s to duplicate the first run. Water temperature, oil pressure, everything's got to be exactly the same. We're looking at the CO2 from the first set of plugs, and you can see that we're a little over 7% on the CO2, which is basically a, an equation of uh, fuel economy. And when we look over at the E3 plugs, we're at 6, 8, uh, pretty consistently across all the runs, about 2 or 3%. The CO is what we're going to look at next. Very similar readings. Uh, there's not much change from the one CO to the next. Now we're going to go to the one of the main pollutants, uh, NOx. And we can actually see a, a pretty significant change. Um, that is. 750 on the, the, the standard plugs, mm -hmm. where the E3s are, are running 650 uh, ppm. I'd say overall the uh, E3s came out pretty well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very good. More horsepower, fuel economy. That's a winner. That's a winner. Ever since people started tinkering with their cars, hot rod.